Hey, you're looking for a great way to get some relief for your tired, stiff, and achy muscles uh, around your knee? Are you having knee stiffness, stiffness right here, and you feel like the muscles around the knee could be contributing to that? I'm gonna show you today how to use an electric cupping tool. We've got our ached away cupper, electric cupping tool, just like you would find like at an acupuncture place or certain massage places that use the, the bulb looking glass devices where they light a match or they use some sort of fire under and then they put a suction cup on top of that. Well, this does that, but it's electric and you could do it yourself at home. But I'm gonna show you how we use it here if you've got knee stiffness to free up the stiff muscles around the knee. Um, so just to give you a quick breakdown on this, uh, this device was sent to us and we really like it. It's very powerful for as small as it is. Uh, when you open it up here, it's it's got a, it's a little self-powered thing. It's got a battery inside. It's got a red light therapy as well. And um, I'm gonna use it in a way that requires me to move around the skin. So I'm gonna just lotion her up a bit in the areas that I'm gonna work on. Now here in the clinic, we get asked all the time, what kind of lotions do we use? And I love this Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is my favorite stuff. It is extremely moisturizing. It's also, um, it smells delicious. As long as you like cocoa butter, kind of sweet smelling. Um, and for our purposes here as male therapists, it's very lubricating and um, is, is, uh, works on, on skin everywhere. I haven't found anybody that didn't like it actually. Um, we commonly hear women say, oh, that's what I put on my stretch marks after I had a baby. And I guess they recommend it for that purpose, but we like it here for this reason as well. So we're gonna work on the quads first. I'm just gonna put some lotion on there. And then we'll get... I'm gonna put an, an extra layer of, of uh, lotion. You really wanna get the person very well lubricated for this because the machine is so powerful that it will not glide very good if you don't have adequate amounts of lotion. I might even put some more lotion as I'm going along here. And I do have a paper towel, a tissue right here just to get my hand clean. So I can grab the tool here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it right in the front of the thigh. Turn it on here and I'll let it power up. It's on the lowest setting, which is still powerful. And I'm just gonna be able to slide back and forth here just a, a bit. And I can tell you it's very powerful. It frees all the tissues up under very well. Might have to kind of twist just a bit. And you don't need more than about a minute in each body part. It's pretty intense. You can go more as long as you can tolerate it. And you just make your way over in zigzags and circles. I'm following the pathway of the muscles here and she's gonna start to get pretty red, which is normal. We're just bringing a lot of blood into the area. And the vastus lateralis muscle here. I don't want to get too close to the joints. Um, you know, me doing this on her, she'll give me feedback, but you can feel on yourself how, how low you can go towards your knee joint. Doing all right? Mm-hmm. And you can see it grabs very, very well on these tissues. All right, so after this, I'm gonna turn it off and you can just slip your finger under and break the seal. And let's get the calf muscle going here. So for this, I'm gonna have her bend up her leg and I could do it with her lying down. Either way, I'm just gonna get some lotion on here. Let's we'll see how far we can get in this position here. It'll be very creamy today. So get some off my hands here. All right. Calf muscles are important to get. Um, with this as well, just because it will, um, the, the calf muscles influence the knee quite a bit. Yeah, 
Doing okay? Mm-hmm. Now there is a big nerve right up here by the knee joint, so just be careful when you're in that area. If you stay in the meaty part of your calf, you should be just fine. And I'm kind of pushing along the rim of the device here just to give it a little equal force and I'm not just pulling the top of the device. I'll see how far I can go. I think go just a notch down. There we go. Before the seal breaks. And if the seal breaks, like right there, it came off. It's okay, this device makes a seal right away again, and we're good to go. It's pretty durable. Let's just give it about another few passes here, and then we'll work the hamstring. Now, if your foot's big enough, you can actually do the bottom of the foot. We'll see if we can give it a pass on Amber here. And you, you won't have much space to work, but you can do a few passes up and down. It feels strange, I can tell you that for sure. All right, one more pass all the way around. There we go. Break the seal here. I've gotten her very slippery myself too. Let's try the bottom of the foot here. So spring that down and um, actually flip on over. Let's do, it'll be better face down. So for, I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna measure it up here. It looks like we'll be right on target. I'll bend her foot up. Let me just get the lotion on. Get her nice and lathered up. Sorry to tickle you. Okay. Let's get this cleaned up just a bit. Let's go here. Okay there? Mm -hmm. And you just work your way up and down with what you can. Go. And it makes the seal so fast that it doesn't take long for me to, if I break a seal, I can get in pretty quick again. And the feeling that you get when you stand up after you have done this is you feel a lot more loose. In a way that massage just doesn't do. And um, it's no substitute for massage either. If you um, think that you need a massage, by all means go get one. This is just a different way to move the tissues in your leg. I love this device, it's so quiet. This is as loud as it gets. We, did not mess with the audio whatsoever. I'm not wearing a mic. And that's good there. So let's turn that off. Let's work the hamstring here next. Just put some on you here. Leave it nearby in case I need some more. All right, now what you gotta be careful for back here is in, in the soft spot right behind the knee, there are a bunch of nerves and veins. So you don't wanna go right over that spot. So you wanna kind of make your cut off about right here, right? If you can see where her knee bends, a little above that, maybe an inch or two above that. So I'm, I'm only gonna go down to about right here. Cause once you start going down here, it gets kind of uncomfortable. You can flare up sciatica or other things. Uh, but as long as you're in the meaty part of the thigh, you're good to go. So let's put it right there. Let's make our way across here. Go 
있어요. 이 o i n g okay? Mm -hmm. Great. It's about as low as I want to get here. I'm just going to make a few more passes. And something um, I'll cover here just a bit. You could do this with movement as well, because the muscles will slide into the skin. And it's just another way to get a different angle on the tissue using this device. Let me show what that looks like. So I'm gonna leave it in one spot here. And I'm just gonna have, I'll move you here. I'm just gonna move her leg back and forth. And you could feel your muscles moving under your skin as the device is working on you. It's, it's kind of a strange sensation. So let's move it down just a bit and do the same thing. And you certainly can move yourself if you want. It doesn't really hurt too much. Um, it doesn't really hurt at all. It just, it just feels uncomfortable because something's sucking on you really hard. <laughs> but some here I'm helping her out. And of course, you could get the calf muscle in this angle as well. You can move the, the ankle and foot to move the calf muscles. Let me just show you what that looks like really quick as well. Let's break the seal. So same rule applies. You don't want to go all the way up into the back of the knee. I'm staying about an inch below where the fold is. I'm just going around this area. So if I wanted to move her ankle, I'd just stay in one spot. I just move the foot and ankle. Move to a different spot. Same thing. If I get a little lower here, that's where the muscles are. They control the toes. I can move the toes and get a similar effect as well. Move the whole ankle with it. All right, so if you've got stiffness in your knee, in your ankle, this could benefit you uh, to get rid of that stiffness. It's something that you can do at home. Um, I'll put the link to get this device, uh, we, we, we can get a little tiny cut if you get this device through us. It doesn't cost anything extra. Um, the company is pretty neat. They sent it really fast once they told us they were going to send it to us. And um, I like it a lot. And, you know, it's, it's pretty durable. It's easy to take apart. I've, I've got a tutorial on this device and how to use it in other ways. Um, but I didn't have any body part specific tutorials like I showed you today. Um, so you can learn more about this. We'll link that video in the description as well. And then um, if you're interested in the lotion that we use, we use this, this Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I'll put a link, an affiliate link as well in the description. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and uh, give us a like and subscribe so you can miss, so that you don't miss any of our videos that we put out every single week. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.